And it has been three days since a wayward dolphin became stuck in this lagoon near Huntington Harbor. That what the experts are saying and how they're going to help it escape and swim to freedom. That story coming up. Peace, everyone. And it has been three days since a wayward dolphin became stuck in this lagoon near Huntington Harbor. What the experts are doing to help it escape. That story coming up. Good morning, everyone. I'm Liberty Chan live in Huntington Beach, where we haven't spotted him this morning, but experts say there's a wayward dolphin that's stuck here in this lagoon. We're going to talk about how he may escape or how experts are going to help him escape. That story coming up. Uh, by the way, a wayward dolphin is catching a whole lot of attention. Now, this dolphin strayed into the Bolsa Chica wetlands, and it doesn't appear to be in a real hurry to leave. It's very nice there, you know. Hey, yeah. Tilly's Liberty Chan live in Huntington Beach with the very latest. Good morning, Liberty. Hi, Liberty. Good morning, guys. Yeah, this story has struck a chord with a lot of people, lots of animal lovers out there like myself, like Wendy. I'm sure we are all rooting that this dolphin swims to freedom. Well, yesterday there was a short lived celebration. The dolphin actually swam toward open water, but apparently it became spooked. It turned around and well, now this morning it is back here stuck in the lagoon. Sky 5 captured the dolphin swimming in circles in the shallow waters of Orange County's Bolsa Chica wetlands on Friday. Fishing game officials have been monitoring the dolphin ever since trying to encourage it to swim to freedom. Well, yesterday, officials on paddle boards guided the guided the dolphin toward a bridge near Warner Avenue, but when the animal got about 200 yards into Huntington Harbor, it quickly retreated when it noticed another group of dolphins swimming in circles ahead of it. Well, experts say it apparently became frightened, turned around, and swam all the way back into the wetlands. Marine biologists say the seven-foot dolphin appears to be healthy, and officials have decided to stand down. Well, now they're hoping the dolphin find it finds its way out without intervention. If he was sick or injured, we'd be a little more aggressive on our, our rescue attempts. But what we've assessed is we've got a healthy animal here. So the best thing to do right now for rescuer safety and for the animal safety to uh, let's see what happens. Back out here live, there's lots of temporary signs that say no parking. Officials say they want people to stay back, don't make a lot of noise because that could make this dolphin anxious. Now, rescuers say if it becomes necessary, they will use a harness to help guide that dolphin back out into the open water. That is the very latest from Huntington Beach. I'm Liberty Chan. Let's go ahead and send it back to you in studio. Liberty. A harness, what are you going to do, lasso the dolphin? Uh, essentially, a, a marine uh, lasso. Essentially, Liberty, yeah. we think part of the problem could yeah. be that no one is... E if, you know, something comes to you when you call its name. So I think we maybe need to come up with a name no for this dolphin. Named the dolphin. Uh, here's got matches. Flipper. And good morning, I'm Liberty Chan, live in Huntington Beach, where for the third day in a row, a wayward dolphin remains stuck in this lagoon. What the experts are doing to help it escape and swim to freedom. We're going to have that story for you coming up. With I'm us. Liberty Chan in Huntington Beach, where for the third day in a row, a wayward dolphin is stuck in this lagoon. What the experts are doing to help it escape and swim to freedom. We're going to have that story for you coming up. Looking at our... Well, this story has struck a chord with a lot of people, lots of animal lovers out there like myself. We're all rooting that this animal swims to freedom. Well, yesterday there was a short lived celebration when the dolphin actually swam out to open water, but then it got spooked and it turned back around and now it's stuck here in this lagoon. Sky 5 captured the dolphin swimming in circles in the shallow waters of Orange County's Bolsa Chica wetlands on Friday. Fish and game officials have been monitoring the dolphin ever since, trying to encourage it to swim to freedom. Well, yesterday officials on paddle boards guided the dolphin toward a bridge near Warner Avenue but when the animal got about 200 yards into Huntington Harbor it quickly retreated when it noticed another group of dolphins swimming in circles ahead of it well experts say it apparently became frightened turned around and swam all the way back into the wetlands marine biologists say the seven-foot dolphin appears to be healthy and officials have decided to stand down if he was sick or injured we'd be a little more aggressive on our, our rescue attempts but what we've assessed is we've got a healthy animal here so the best thing to do right now for rescuer safety and for the animal safety to uh, let's see what happens now they're hoping the dolphin finds its way out without intervention 
Back out here in Huntington Beach, temporary signs that say no parking. Officials say they don't want people to get too close to the animal. They don't want them to make a lot of noise because that could make the dolphin anxious. They also say that if it becomes necessary, they will use a harness to help guide that dolphin back out into the open water. I'm Liberty Chan. Let's go ahead and send it back to you now in studio.